You may be able to lower your risk of Alzheimer's disease by making certain choices at mealtime. That advice comes from a new book, Power Foods for the Brain, an effective three-step plan to protect your mind and strengthen your memory. Author is Dr. Neil Barnard. He is a nutritionist researcher at George Washington University. We're pleased to have him here. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. Let's nice start off you. with what we should avoid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, there's nothing more frightening than losing your memory and losing your connections. And most people have thought, well, it's just part of aging. I'm going to spend the last five or ten years of my life not knowing anybody. The, the beautiful news is we now know what seems to be triggering that so that we can avoid it. Three things. The first is, it, if you look inside the brain of a person who's getting Alzheimer's disease, there are little connect, uh, collections of proteins. It's called beta amyloid. And if you look at what contributes to that, saturated fat, that's the fats in meats and in dairy products. Number two, the trans fats, donuts, pastries. And the third, if you look inside those little amyloid plaques, they have traces of metals, iron and copper and aluminum, and that can come from cookware, even everyday products. So those things, the trans fats, the saturated fats, and the metals seem to be contributing to that process, and we can avoid those things. I had to have a moment when you said that in your book because you said healthy diets exclude meat and dairy products, all of which I've eaten within the last 24 hours. <laughs> so you're saying what we should be concentrating in eating are plants. Well, the four food groups that everybody should be focusing on, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans. When people look at vegetarians, they live longer, they have less heart disease, and it looks like they have an edge in mental health as well, less risk of dementia. So for everybody who's making that big bowl of oatmeal this morning and putting on the blueberries and cinnamon and raisins, extra points for them. And beyond food, there's exercise and... An amazing thing. Researchers have shown that even 30 to 40 minutes of exercise, brisk walk, three times a week, actually changes the brain physically. The part of the brain called the hippocampus yeah. that's essential for memory pumps up a little bit. It measurably increases over time and that counteracts the brain shrinkage that most people have. And you also said we should pay attention to metals. I'd never thought about that. Aluminum, iron, copper. You said even in your deodorant, even in yeah. your cookware is something we should pay attention to. If you have a cast iron pan, over time you'll, it will rust. Uh, that's oxidation. And that happens to the metals that get into your body. So you need a trace of iron for, for healthy blood cells, but iron builds up in the brain and it oxidizes, that releases free radicals, that destroys brain cells. So a stainless steel pan's better than a cast iron pan. If you got copper pipes, use bottled water for whatever you're drinking in the morning. Can you please tell me something other than a blueberry and a walnut <laughs> that is tasty to eat? Well, there, there are so many choices. Just it, give me one, doctor. Okay. Just give me one. Let's have pancakes this morning, and instead of putting butter all over the top, maybe some maple syrup, put some blueberries on top, that's fine. Okay. For lunch, if you're going to have chili, not the meat chili, have the bean chili. For dinner, if you have spaghetti, top it with artichoke hearts, wild mushrooms, uh, chunky tomatoes, all the spice, that's fine. The glass of wine won't kill you, and the okay. espresso at the end is okay, too. But what about all those doctors who say don't eat too much wheat? products? Um, about 7% of the population is sensitive to wheat, and they do get sort of mentally fuzzy. The other 93%, no problem. All right, Dr. Neil Bernard, thank you. Sure. Power Foods for the Brain, it's on sale now.